Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I wanted to spotlight one of the Division 2's rarest weapons. Let me give some context though so you can kind of understand what this is all about. So recently in the game there's been a lot of discussion surrounding the Stinger Hunter outfit, which you can see me wearing right here. It uh, previously was exclusive to the Refer a Friend program until they recently added it to the uh, store here, as you can see if we scroll down here. You can now buy it for either, it won't show up because I already have it, but for either premium credits or textiles, meaning that if you have enough, you don't have to spend any real money to acquire it, and you get these five pieces of the outfit that you can see me wearing right here. Now, like I said previously, that was exclusive to the Refer a Friend program for The Division 2, which is still active to this day if you want to do it, and part of the reason why I'm bringing this all up is because there were more things for that program that have not yet been added to the game, one of those being this weapon that I think is, you know, pretty darn rare because not everyone has it and you can't get it just by playing the game. Another thing they had in there was this backpack trophy, which has become one of my favorites over time, just more SHD watches. And so in combination with the memento and all this other stuff, I mean, it's a pretty darn cool outfit when you put it all together. But let's get to the real uh, star of the show here. And that is this stinger named LMG, which I did a video on maybe like two years ago, but I've been getting a ton of questions about... Uh, now that they've added the Stinger outfit, is the is the uh, gun in the game? Can I get it anywhere other than the Refer a Friend program? The answer currently is no. This thing is still exclusive to that Refer a Friend program, uh, which I always thought was pretty crazy because it has its own unique talent. And again, it's a named weapon that you just can't get anywhere in the game. The only way you can get it is from the Refer a Friend program. So for anybody who is unable to get this at the moment, I figured I would do a video kind of just showcasing and spotlighting what it's all about, what it can do, uh, because I do think it's a pretty cool weapon. And with some of the newer gear we've gotten recently, there's some cool synergies that you can make. So just to show you really quickly, it is, of course, a variant of, you know, the same type of LMGs that we have in the game. It does have a pretty cool design. You can see there's some hunter dog tags on the back there. I think on this side, if you zoom in, yeah, there's some, like, etches on the on the chassis. There's some cool details on this thing, for sure. And again, it's called the Stinger. You can see on the right side. And the talent that it has is one, like I said, you can't get anywhere else in the game. It's called Swift. Performing a cover-to-cover -cover grants 20% weapon damage for 15 seconds. That's not bad. All right? That is not bad. And... Once I started thinking about doing this video, I thought, well, guess what? We just got another, you know, set added to the game that promotes cover usage, and that's Umbra Initiative, which, of course, when you get in cover, you get all those stacks. And so, kind of this build that I've put together to showcase for this video, and again, I really just want to highlight the gun and show you all, for those of you who, who can't get it for yourself, the kind of idea for this build that I had is I get in cover, I get up my Umbra stacks, I do a quick cover to cover, and then I just have, you know, super increased uh, RPM, crit damage, and 20% extra weapon damage. It's a pretty nice bonus. So we're gonna run through a little bit of the uh, Coney Amusement Park here to show you. And just to give you a quick idea of how the uh, talent on this thing works, let me jump into the start here. And I'll show you before we start shooting anybody. So if I take cover here, and I do a cover to cover too, looks like I can go right there. Doesn't matter the length, as soon as I do that, you'll see on the gun there, on the AR display, Swift is active and it has its 15 second duration counting down. There's no cooldown on it. As soon as this ends, I'll point for right there, and as soon as this ends, I'll do it again. Let's wait that few seconds there. I'll do it again, and it'll be active right away. So even if you do a small cover to cover, you get that 15 seconds of 20% increased weapon damage, which is crazy. And like I said, with the combination of Umbra, that's just a pretty fun set. I thought this would be a pretty fun one to, uh, to show off and showcase for the gun. So let's let that go away, then we'll get into combat here. I got all my stacks, let's go. Start tearing these guys up, and again, it's, uh, I forget the exact variant of LMG that this is modeled off of. The M249, I don't know. I don't use LMGs nearly enough, but it's certainly not a bad one. And it does pretty decently, uh, especially with these bonuses. Can pop out of cover, get that. I can do this short cover to cover. I pop swift just like that. I mean, this talent, again, and I said this when I did a video on it, like, years ago. I'm surprised that they have always kept this talent exclusive. To just this gun because it's one thing to have you know a unique looking named item but uh you would think more people would be upset about that but i guess not who knows so we do that cover to cover get some of the more rpm and crit going and i'm using that nice uh extra 50 mag on the gunner spec to be able to get all of that extra ammo so i can really take advantage of the increased uh rpm and all that it's just a really nice setup, and it's a gun that for me has always been fun to just put on once in a while and run. I wouldn't say it's the most, you know, it's not like meta, it's not the greatest thing in the world, and I think that's probably why people haven't cared too much about its uh, exclusivity over time. 
Uh, but yeah, I was getting a lot of questions about if that had been added to the game with the outfit. Some people didn't even know it existed. They were asking what these other people were talking about. So I figured I would do this and just uh, show you all what was up. I'm probably gonna let this run for a few more minutes to show you a bit more gameplay with the uh, with the Stinger here and with the combination I made with Umbra. So I very much hope you enjoyed this uh, look at the Stinger LMG. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on to be updated every time I upload. If you have any additional uh, questions about the acquisition of this outfit about the refer a friend program i'd be happy to answer anything i know so you can certainly leave those down below and also let me know what you think about this lmg do you have the singer lmg if so what do you think about it if not do you think that its exclusivity is necessarily fair i don't really have too much of an opinion either way but i've always been very curious to see what people think about that so uh, yeah so let me know your thoughts i think that is going to do it for me today though everybody once again thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and until the next one guys real gold out